Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here for the Blitzy Design Team. Today we're going to create a layout using a stencil in a couple of different ways. I really love products that have multiple uses and stencils are one of those great go-to products for me. So what I did first was to take the stencil and apply some Ranger texture paste on the back of the, on this white cardstock. And I let that dry and everything and I thought it looked kind of plain. And the picture that I used is of our little puppy, Ellie, and she is acting something fierce, even though she's sweet as she can be. She's finding her, her way. But I just thought that the picture needed some more color. So what I did is to cut, to use the stencil as a template and cut out the shapes, leaving a little bit of a border with that texture paste. And then I'm going to paper piece, pattern paper behind those cutouts. So you'll see as I go along here how it ends up looking. But right now I'm just working on some layers for my photograph. And I really love that striped paper and I wanted to use it behind one of the uh, cutouts there. So I just cut the middle out of it because you weren't going to see it anyways. So now I'm just, like I said, paper piecing here. And I'm going to do these first couple that I've cut out and then I realized that I wanted to add more. So I will cut some more shapes. And I'm just using papers from the, it's a, it's a line by Studio Calico. It's kind of confusing. It's called Seven Paper. Is like It's like a subsidiary company of Studio Calico, I think. And then this collection is called Amelia. And I believe the paper that you're seeing the, with the polka dots is from the Baxter line, but I'm not entirely sure. But they, they are the seven paper part of Studio Calico, if that makes sense. So this template that I'm using is from the Crafters Workshop. And it's really fun. It has all these different triangles on it, and some of the triangles have patterns in them. So now I'm not using the texture paste because I wanted to, to have some that were a little bit different. I'm just using a pencil to trace the shapes and then I'm going to use a craft knife and make sure that when you do this you're doing it on a self-healing mat which is that the mat that I'm using is by American Crafts and the ruler is a Tim Holtz ruler and the reason why I'm using that ruler is because it has a metal side on it which is really good when you're using a cutting knife because then you don't if you use a plastic one you can kind of trim away the plastic so you want to have like a steel edge on your ruler when you do, when you do this. So I'm just kind of figuring out if I need any more or what I need to add to it and this is one of those layouts that kind of the more I looked at it the more I added so some of the things you're not going to see me add in the video because I did them after I thought I was finished but you know that's how it goes sometimes. So I decided I wanted to back it on some pattern paper so I'm using this black and white horizontal stripe it may have been vertical and I turned it horizontal I'm not sure but it's just a straight stripe it's not a diagonal I'm just going to trim a little bit off of the the white cardstock so that it um, so you can see the pattern paper and that tool that I used is a distress tool and it is really cool because it roughs up your edges you can do this with scissors or even with your fingernail if you want to but that tool is great for it. I haven't used it in a while because I couldn't find it and I've used it so much also that it's kind of dull so I need to get a new one. They have them in the everyday part of the Blitzy store so you can find them there. And now I'm just trimming up my layers and again I cut the middle out of that black and white stripe paper because I wanted to be able to use it on something else. And you can see as I work my desk like closes it on me. At the beginning I had all this space and now it's like and then I cleaned up again. Now I have more space. <laughs> but this little, these little gold polka dots I'm adding are a little chipboard pieces. And there's actually polka dots of texture paste there that I'm just adding them on top of. I'm going to use a couple of hearts up here in this corner. And I'm using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. And it has gold staples in it. And the way that I make gold staples is by using a Krylon um, gold leafing pen. It works really well. And now I'm just layering up some embellishments and adding some things to the layout. And I'm going to do my title in some gold foil thickers that are actually foam, so they're really light. I, I like them a lot. And I'm going to add some more gold accents. I knew I wanted the tile to be in gold, which is why I'm adding the other things. And then I'm going to take this pit pen 
and I'm just going to outline some stuff because I feel like the actual layout needed some more black. So sometimes I like to just kind of doodle and outline and there's no rhyme or reason to how I do it. I just kind of freehand it all. So it's definitely not perfect or straight, but I kind of like that kind of sketchy doodled look. So I wanted to emphasize these triangles. I felt like with that white background, they were just kind of blending in. So I really like the way that it looks with the, with the added pen marks. So I'm just kind of folding up those edges a little bit more to give it just a little bit more life. I feel like a picture with that much attitude needs some some life in the layout, you know. <laughs> I just added a little camera puffy sticker and I'm going to add a little gold dot and then take it away. <laughs> Looking through this Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy washi tape. And I don't think I'm going to use any washi tape. I can't remember. And I'm just going through my embellishments. I just... I have a bunch of baskets full of embellishments and I just go through them and I usually do this before I start working on the layout just because it saves time and it goes faster but this time I didn't. I'm just going to add some tiny word stickers. These are from 7 Paper also. One of them is a set that's specific to dogs and I can't remember what that sticker, oh it says grr, like a growl. And then the pink ones are kind of a vellum sort of uh, thing. They're really cool. So here's some close-ups. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.